So there are many watches out there that have a rotating dial, or bezel as it's called. And these are known as E6B watches. They can do all sorts of calculations and conversions with multiplication and time and distance that not many people know about. So today I'm going to go over those with you. Keep in mind that when you're doing time, speed, and distance calculations, the outer ring will always be distance or speed, the middle ring will always be time in minutes, and the smaller ring below the middle ring will always be time in hours. You'll see that the middle ring has a smaller ring below it, which converts time from minutes to hours. For example, the 70 is 1 hour and 10 minutes, the 80 is 1 hour and 20 minutes, and the 90 is 1 hour and 30 minutes. You can go around the whole middle ring, converting time from minutes to hours. Now let's try this with a flight problem. Let's say your plane flies at 150 knots per hour. You want to find out how long it will take to fly 90 nautical miles. First, you have to set the rate. Rotate the outer ring so that the number 15, representing 150 knots, is across from the 60, representing 60 minutes. Now find the number 90 on the outer ring. This represents the distance you plan to travel. You will notice that the number 90 is across from the number 36 on the middle ring. Therefore, you have determined that it will take 36 minutes to go 90 nautical miles. Speed problems are just like time problems, except that we are finding the rate. Remember in the time problems how our speed was our rate? Well here, we don't have the rate, but we do have the distance and the time. Knowing the distance we flew and the time it took to fly, we can easily figure out the average speed at which we're flying. For example, let's say you flew 130 nautical miles and it took you 47 minutes. Let's find out your average speed. Rotate the outer ring so that the number 13, which represents 130 in this case, is across from the number 47 on the inner ring. Your average speed is found on the outer ring opposite the rate arrow. In this case, your average speed would be 166 knots per hour. You can figure out distance problems once you have time and speed. For example, if you are traveling at 150 knots per hour, your speed, and you want to know how far you will go after 20 minutes, your time, rotate the outer ring so that the number 15 is across from the number 60 on the inner ring. Now find the number 20 on the inner ring. Opposite the number 20 on the inner ring, you'll find the number 50, which is your distance. My name is Chelsea Welch with Abingdon Watches. I am wearing the Amelia in black. And you can see all of our models at www.abingdonwatches.com. Thank you.